We're here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Kramer. Jim, our first question from Twitter this morning is on Netflix. Chris Thompson asks, should I take profits in Netflix? I've held it for about six months, even though they are expanding into Asia. Right. Now, this is always difficult because of a cross-discipline. I don't believe that people should be pigs. Uh, this gentleman definitely has a, a great gain. However, I think that Netflix is going to ultimately have a $100 billion market cap. As you hear over and over again, they are the network, they're the channel to the world, Ruben. So they should be worth more than Time Warner and CBS and Viacom combined. And that's how you get my plus $100 billion target. Now, Julian asks, will we see a breakout for PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP? Is it time to go into this industry? All right. Well, the, the time was when they reported and people didn't like the quarter. The quarter was actually excellent. They had the best organic growth of any food company. I have always endorsed owning PepsiCo as long as Ingenuity is running it. Now, Charles Brewer asks, Fitbit reported an amazingly strong quarter and somehow the stock drops 10% after hours. Is it a good time to buy? All right, now let's first understand the stock came public at 20. It roared. We have been behind it at 28 over and over again at real money, reiterated 35, reiterated 40. Said if it got to 50, it would be GoPro-like valuation, which is a little nosebleed. All that said, when I interviewed James Park, the CEO this morning, I felt very confident that they have a lot in the pipe. So my answer is below 45, pull the trigger. Now, John Lydon asks, do you like Twitter at these levels? Uh, Twitter is a, a stock that we have a piece of for action alerts that we've been saying do not buy, but we've been frozen over and over again. There's no catalyst other than perhaps it gets so low that there will be a bidding war for it. But right now, it, it's just not doing well enough to recommend, and I don't like to recommend stocks on a takeover basis if the fundamentals are doing poorly. And Sig57 asks, is August the month to accumulate tech shares for, end, for an end of the year rally? No, September historically been. Unless you're a gigantic fund like a Fidelity where you're afraid of moving the market, it is not worth doing, particularly in the last week of August when we have tend to have a sell-off over the 25-year period that I've been involved directly with tech. So uh, don't jump the gun. Uh, don't do the buy of tech if you think for holiday. It's going to be September will be a better month. Thanks, Jim. And if you have questions for Jim Kramer here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, tweet them to Kramer Q. I'm Ruben Ramirez, and you're watching The Street.